welcome back to the 8th concession. My name is Natalie. It's freezing rain again last night and this morning, slippery roads, and just that sort of dull overcast type of day. You can see that even though it's in the morning, I have all the lights on because it's just that gloomy. But there is something I can do to lift that gloom and to make it seem like the gardening season is coming a little closer, which it is slowly but here on the 8th concession in zone 5b southern ontario i'm a long way from planting vegetable seeds um, like some people in the warmer zones but there is something that i can start to work on today that has me very happy and excited because i love planting i love growing those of you who watched me open my seed packets my seed haul will know that i'm trying a new experiment this year and that is I'm going to grow some trees from seed. I mentioned that I've had some success starting cedar trees from seed, um, that I gathered those seeds just on our property. But these seeds I ordered from a company. There's four different varieties. And before I can plant them, I have to stratify them. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to talk about what it means to stratify seeds and how you do it. And you can watch me do mine so that I can get ready to plant these seeds in a few weeks. <laughs> so let's go and start planting some trees. So you'll see on some seed packets, either or on a website before you buy certain seeds that some plants need to be stratified and all that means is the seeds are programmed to only open after they've gone through a period of cold and this is nature's way of protecting some seeds and having them germinate in the time when they'll have the most success a lot of trees drop their seeds in the fall but then winter comes and there's no use having their seeds germinate right away because then they're just going to die in the cold. So the seeds are programmed so that they go through some cold um, temperatures and then when it's warmer and moist they know it's time to germinate. Nature's kind of fascinating isn't it? So tree seeds are some of those seeds that need this period of cold sleep called stratification and you can either plant the seeds or let the seeds drop outside and let them do their thing naturally through the winter but if you want to get a little jump on the season if you want to check to see how many seeds might germinate if you want to control where they're growing you want to bring them indoors and mimic that dormancy inside so here's how I stratify seeds. Now, um, those of you who watched my seed unboxing will know that I am starting four new types of trees from seed that I just bought. And those are uh, balsam fir, sugar maple, Colorado blue spruce, and a flowering dogwood. So the seeds all look very different, but they're all going to go through the same process of stratification. Now you'll see the first thing I did was I have soaked the seeds in some water for 24 hours. This just allows the seed to soak up the moisture it's going to need to stay dormant in the cold, but not dry out and die. So I've kept them separate so I don't mix up which seeds they are, but you can see they all look very different. These are the sugar maples. The Colorado blue spruce are the smallest. These are the flowering dogwood. I don't even know if you can see them, they're floating around. And these are the balsam fir. I put down a bit of wax paper just so I don't muck up my table too much. So now, the first thing I want to do is I want to prepare the bags that I'm going to keep the seeds in in the refrigerator. I want to write on them what they are so I don't forget. So just simply labeling the bags. And I'm also going to put on the date that I'm putting them in the fridge so I can time them. Some of them need to stay in a bit longer than the others and this will help me remember when to pull them out again. So the next 
thing I'm going to do is prepare the medium that I'm going to put the seeds in in the little baggies because you're not just going to put the seeds in the baggies bare. Um, this is a bit of peat moss. I just got some out of the big bale I have in my potting shed. Luckily it wasn't frozen. And now I'm just going to moisten it with some water. But if you watched my hack video, you'll know that when I moisten soil to start seedlings, I actually use boiling water in case any sort of disease or insect has crawled into my soil, or in this case, my peat moss. The bag was open, so first I'm gonna moisten it with some boiling water. This is my clean garden spoon. So you want enough that it'll stick together, but not enough that you can squeeze water out of it. Now, because I use boiling water, I'm gonna to have to let this cool a few minutes before I can use it. While I'm waiting for the soil to cool, I'm going to strain the seeds. And just put them on some wax paper for now. So now our mixture is cool. It's nice and damp. The seeds are ready. Now all we're going to do is combine them. It's almost like a cooking project. <laughs> into the baggie. Now you only want to add enough of these just sort of to cover the seeds so you you actually don't need very much. So I'm going to start with the blue spruce. I'm going to put a little bit of my moistened peat moss in there. I'm going to add my damp seeds. Whoops. I want to stick to everything. Make sure I got them all in there. There aren't any hitchhikers. Now I'm going to seal it up and smush it around a little bit so they all get covered and it's ready to go. So here they are, all ready to go to sleep. Now these will have different uh, dormancy times. So the blue spruce and the balsam fir have very shallow dormancy, so I can pull them after about 30 days or one month. Uh, the sugar maple is going to need about two months and the dogwood is going to need about three months. So it's a game of patience with trees, but it's going to be great. So I'm just going to seal up the bags. I'm going to put them in just a little paper bag or something labeled <laughs> in my fridge so nobody accidentally goes to eat it. Um, and just put them in the fridge and just uh, leave them there to sleep. So now that I've got those new tree seeds in the fridge stratifying waiting to be planted, I thought I'd show you what it looks like when I do plant seeds that have been stratified. My cedar seeds have been in the fridge for quite a while and so today I'm going to plant them out and then wait to see how many germinate. I have some tweezers to get them out easily. 
and I prepared a little dome with some soil block. I like to start with them to make sure I'm not wasting too many seeds or pots if they're not going to sprout or germinate. So I will start them in here. They won't stay long if they do germinate because cedars send out really long roots quickly, but at least I'll know which seeds are taking. Just gonna put that in there to keep that open. And then you can see the little seeds here. You can see the little seed. Stay open. them just a little spritz. Oops, that one went flying. Cover them with a bit of soil. a mess even when I'm gardening. <laughs> I'm going to close that up and I'm going to put that upstairs on a heat mat under some lights and just wait for them to sprout. I will water them all the time to keep that soil moist because it's the heat and the moisture that tells the seeds that now that they've slept it's time to grow. So we'll check on them in a few weeks. So that's it. The new tree seeds are stratified or they're being stratified right now in the fridge and in a month or two I can start pulling them out and planting them to see what will grow. There are other seeds that I'm probably going to stratify as well, not just tree seeds. There are certain plants that benefit from stratification plants that typically go through cold winters. So um, some of the milkweed around here, lavender, um, peonies, those I still have seeds for, so I'm going to prepare them as well because I'm hoping I have good luck germinating all those things. So I hope you've enjoyed this and maybe you'll try stratifying and growing some trees yourself. Bye for now.